Hi, this is John Horn from Stub Group. We're the number one resource for fixing Google suspensions and policy violations. And we're also one of the top premier Google partner advertising agencies in the world. And today I'm gonna to give you a little bit of a case study about a business that hired us to get their Google ads account unsuspended. So this business was based out of California and they were in the architectural kind of design and software space. And they came to us because their Google ads account had been suspended for circumventing systems, which is a very serious serious uh, reason for suspension, one of the egregious policy kind of categories that Google hands out. And they had been suspended. They had tried appealing things themselves to no avail. This company has a dozen uh, employees and a significant part of their business of their incoming leads and clients were coming from their Google ads campaigns prior to the account being suspended. And so when they came to us, they were really in a, in a state of panic saying, look, I'm not sure if we're going to survive as a business. We're going to have to lay off a number of people if we can't start getting these leads coming back in via Google ads. And so no pressure, but they uh, they came to us uh, in this situation. And here's what we did. So first of all, we took a deep dive into their Google ads account and their website. This is something that we do for every single client who hires us, regardless of why they got suspended, because there can be all sorts of different problems and issues on both the account and the website that can be contributing to a suspension. So we're looking for anything that could be a red flagged Google, it could be redirects, it could be billing issues, it could be missing policy pages in the website, so forth and so on. So we did our full audit and identified any red and yellow flag issues to be fixed related to that. We submitted an appeal to Google and it came back as the denied. And this happens sometimes because really when you look at uh, suspensions with Google, it's both an art and a science. Google won't tell you specifically what you've done wrong and what you need to do to fix it to get unsuspended. And so there's sometimes an aspect of trial and error and seeing, hmm, could this be the problem over here? Could that be the problem over there? And trying to get everything perfect as possible and then crafting a great appeal and submitting that to Google and seeing what happens. And sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board uh, if that first appeal or even second appeal gets denied. And so when that appeal was denied, we went back to the drawing board and said, okay, well, what else could be going on? Kept digging through things, kept figuring things out and realized that they were using a WordPress plugin because their website was built on WordPress and they were using a WordPress plugin to try to protect their website from being hacked because they'd had some hacking issues in the past. And what this plugin was doing is it was blocking all international traffic from reaching their website. What does that do? Well, that was also blocking Google themselves and their bots, which often are located internationally from reaching the website. And so Google was trying to crawl the website and not being able to do so, which looked to Google like the client was trying to hide something, you know, prevent bots from crawling a site. And that's against Google's policies. And so Google was suspending the account. So we were able to work with them to um, change this plugin to not prevent all international traffic from reaching the website, but to instead prevent it from reaching the login pages to the back end of the website, which is still helpful in trying to prevent where some of that uh, malicious activity had come from when they were when someone tried to hack into them previously, but then also still allowed Google to crawl the content on their website and not see any problems there. And so once we did that and made those changes, we were able to get the account unsuspended, reinstated, and they were able to uh, keep the people that were in danger of being laid off and get that business coming back in from their Google ads campaigns. So long story short, there can be all sorts of different reasons, some obvious, some not so obvious as to why an account might be suspended. Um, but that's where we come in and applying what we've learned over the past decade of working with businesses who are dealing with suspensions and looking for all of the things that could be a problem, fixing them, doing any trial and error that needs to be done to get accounts back online. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at stubgroup.com and we'd be happy to take a look at your situation if you're suspended and see how we can help. Hey, thanks for watching another Knowledge Pack video from Stub Group. We're the number one resource for fixing Google suspensions and policy violations. We're also one of the top premier Google partner agencies in the world. We'd love to help you fix your suspension, dominate Google ads, and grow your business. So please subscribe to this channel for more great tips and insights into all things Google. And check out the description below to get expert help for your own suspension. Thanks.